Hello everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at this AI generated game that I built using Claude 3.5 and it's pretty cool. So I made a video recently on how I built a Flappy Bird game using AI and now I built a, another game where you can move around. It's a two player game and you can see there's some you can, uh, for example, these red uh, potions decreases your health bar. You have the health bar right here. Um, you also have um, uh, other, you can fly around, you can move past each other. And obviously, you can uh, fight each other. So, for example, if I, right, so I try that again, start game, and then I can, for example, go like that. And uh, there's damage bars and everything. And, uh, you can also add other things such as background music uh, and uh, there's also a timer and everything else like that. So I'm actually not going to go through the whole process of how I built this uh, game using AI. By the way, I didn't code one bit. This is all generated using AI. Um, I just gave it instructions. It took around two hours to get the instructions right. There's a bunch of errors, a bunch of different um, versions of the game, which this is what the video is about. We're just going to go through all the, the versions of the, of the game and just, you know, anyone can do this. You can start. I mean, I'm on the paid plan, so you probably have to have multiple iterations, but anyone can build uh, these really 2D pixelated games um, without any piece of code. This is a thousand lines. This is around 1100 lines of code, which I for sure would not be able to do something like that. Um, that background image is something I got off Google images, but yeah. So the first thing I want to do is I want to first give you guys the first iteration of what the game looked like. So obviously I've had multiple different uh, iterations and uh, multiple different uh, communication with Claude 3.5 trying to figure out how to build this game. I first gave it some instructions and you can see, um, let's, uh, I'm going to duplicate this. Let's go back to my first chat that I had with uh, Claude and um, uh, I think it was this one here. So you can see basically what I did was I first uh, went to Claude and I gave it some instructions on, hey, game overview, create a, uh, a fighting game with two playable characters, detailed character designs, which it didn't really get right, appearance, um, art style, I idle animation, move animation, appearance, uh, and I, I, and you know, the keyboard, um, keyboard controls. Um, and I, this is all, I use ChatGPT to build this. I didn't do this myself. I'm like, hey, I went to ChatGPT. I'm like, this is, what I want from a game. Can you please uh, turn this into a prompt that I can ask an AI to build a game? Then I pasted this prompt. And so it, it did a first iteration. So now the problem with Cloud 3.5 is what I came across is that at, at a certain point when the game gets really complex, you're not going to be able to run it directly in artifacts. This game, for example, it runs in, um, it runs in uh, artifacts, right? So you can actually run it directly in here because um, there it can fit the whole code base within uh, the artifacts parameter. But uh, what I noticed was when I started saying, can you do this and can you do that? What ended up happening was it would be like, hey, there would be an error because it it got it hit the max uh, token uh, token length, and I, I you know. So then what it does is okay, it, it, you you ask it for instructions. I'm like, okay, because I can't run it here. Can can you give me full instructions on how to run it uh, within how to run it within um, my local uh, computer, for example? So. Once you ask it to help you run it in your local environment, uh, what it what I told it to do is okay because the code is beyond its co uh, token context length. Can you please break down the responses? ChatGPT, you can ask it to continue the code and it's going to continue the code. For some reason, Cloud 3.5 doesn't do that. So what I did was okay. Can you break it down into three responses and b put all the code within three responses? So they gave me part one and they gave me part two. So here's part two, but as I started adding more and more features, it started. I, I basically asked, "Hey, can you give it to three responses?" I didn't get to four four parts because the game wasn't that big uh, to make it to four parts. And then what it does is it gives you instructions on how to run the code. So for people who don't who might not know how to run the code, well, you have to uh, you have to use Create React app, which is basically a React starter bo uh, boiler uh, boiler uh, boilerplate, and uh, you, you you write the name, and then you uh, change directories into the fighting game directory, which I saved to my desktop, and you can run it in Visual Studio Code, and uh, it gives you a bunch of instructions. For example, uh, because Create React app is a boilerplate, you have to obviously change um, some of the, the, the boilerplate code. So you, you replace index.js with this, uh, with this, and then you um, open source and index.css and you update that, et cetera, et cetera. And then basically, um, uh, so how that looks like is once you're in the code, you have app.js is where you store all the code. It'll tell you to also change index.js, which is just basically this uh, 
pulls uh, pulls the actual game from uh, app.js and so the actual code is here so it's again you can see it's a, a thousand lines here and so I did that and um, yeah so I was able to run the game uh, on my local machine but I was getting the code from uh, Claude 3.5 so the first iteration of the game that I had was as you can see here uh, was it here um, So yeah, so this was the first iteration of the game that I built. And you can see, I can move, I can jump, and uh, there's these green potions, um, and you can also fight as well. Uh, there's no long distance projectile, but I can um, I can hit it, but there's no animation. So that was the first iteration of the game, which I wasn't too happy with. At first, I did ask it to make a sunset background, um, and so that's what I did. I asked it to add some clouds. It wasn't able to do that. Um, I didn't really like the fact that I didn't jump. I couldn't really dodge or anything like that. Um, so that was the first version of the game. And then uh, we can go back here and you can see multiple. This is where it's like it really breaks down to part one, part two, part three. And it, it basically gave me multiple parts. And then there's a lot of error codes that I had to deal with. So what I did was uh, I saved a couple versions of the game in uh, this edit pad online. And you can see version eight, nine, ten and final. Let's start with version eight. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the code. And I'm basically going to go into app.js here. And I'm going to uh, highlight everything and just paste that and save it. And you can see there's around 636 lines there. We go back. That's React app. So this is the first version. So if I refresh that again, you can see the first version of the game is just I fly out of the screen. And I can't come back down. Um, I can still move that. It flies out. So I had to ask it to fix that. So let's go to version 9 now. Copy that. Let's go back to app.js. Save that. Now we're at 800 lines of code, and uh, let's go to re uh, create React app. Now we have a health bar, and we can move up and down like this. This is what I wanted, sort of like you're flying, like you're in Dragon Ball Z, and uh, you can do that. Let's see if it does projectiles here. So there are projectiles here as well, and uh, you know whoever defeats a person wins, and then so player two wins. Let's go back to uh, version 10. Uh, let's copy that. Let's go to um, the code. Save it. And now we're at 838 lines again, and uh, we'll refresh that. Now I changed the background a little bit. I didn't like the, the, the fiery background. So now there's a couple things I added. For example, these black bars, you automatically lose the game. Um, and then you can move around again. The only thing is there was this mis there was this problem where if you're going left or right, it switches the character images. These image uh, the, this, the character images are actually a PNG file that I just found online, and I just used it as a part added to a folder, and I called it in the code. So that's what it didn't actually create the actual character. You just have to sort of find the JPEGs for that. Uh, but the actual background is all built. It's a, just a gradient here. This is not an image or anything like that. It's just built in the code itself. And you can move around, and obviously you can fight. You can move around, but in this game, in in this uh, in this version of the game, you can't move past each other, right? So I didn't like that. I wanted it to be a little bit more free, where you can move around wherever you want to move move around. Let's go back, and so now we're basically at the final version, which again this took around two hours of just back and forth uh, with uh, Cloud 3.5, and we're at this version now. I'm gonna paste this, Control Save, and uh, so again I'm probably missing a bunch of parts, but we're now around close to 1500 lines. And I, I, the nice thing is I can always iterate and improve, improve on this game, ask it for more things, more features, et cetera, et cetera. Like added sounds and sound effects and things like that. And so now if we go back to React.js, uh, the, the actual local host 3000, you can actually see uh, there's some instructions here. So you got you can start the game and you can see there's player one, which are the, the keyboard um, controls. And then you have uh, press up, which is W for player one and up for uh, air two to go super saiyan. So I added that feature as well collect blue potions for super blasts orange potions for super speed and rainbow potions for force field watch out for the monsters that appear occasionally start the game and now we got some background music and you can, you can now i can go really fast with that orange, po orange potion the red ones it decreases your health green uh you uh, replenish health and if you go to blue you can now do a, a, a blue projectile so for example uh, this is a yellow projectile and i can go blue and that's a, let me just hit blue again one more time. And I get a blue projectile with a blue projectile. It's a one hit win. And uh, of course, this is the final game. And this took me around two, um, this took this took me around two hours to finish. And uh, basically the, the point is anyone can build these tools now and it's very accessible for everyone. Whatever your mind can fit into it, obviously you're not gonna get the most advanced 3D games. Uh, but what I do think is, um, you know, this code, most of us would have, it would have taken 
probably weeks, right? Like probably weeks to just really build this, but I built this in within two hours and you can always change certain things within the code as, as well. So for example, uh, let's go here. If you, if you, you know, if you want to change, uh, let's look at search, uh, P, uh, PNG, um, you can change the actual, uh, PNG player images and, uh, you can also change the background music and the sound effects. For example, you have the sound effects here. You can change that. So you can definitely play around with the code, but, I mean, yeah, this is this is crazy. We're at a point where we're at an inflection point where we can actually build these things out just as a pastime. You want to do and maybe add it to your GitHub or whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm really liking just I'm really getting into this whole like, hey, why not build a Mario game? Or I wanted to try to build a ten, um, a Temple Run game. There's a game we used to play back in the days when phones first came out and when I had my first iPod Touch and uh, you know Temple Run. I think it was Temple Run where I used to play that all day. I mean, I want to see if I can build something like that. So yeah. It, Everyone has many superpowers now that they can go out and try themselves. So, yeah, everyone should definitely try out uh, Cloud 3.5 and see what you can build. Whatever your imagination um, conceives of, just ask the AI and go back and forth and see what you can build. And, and over time, you'll start to p pick things up and get better at it. And, and it might be something um, interesting to show your family and friends. So, yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna keep this video short. I know it was a two hours con con condensed into 10 minutes, so I'll keep it short. Um, so until next time, see you guys later and uh, take care.